Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Automata mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We can certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Rover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? An amiable person, isn't he? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? I see your weakness. I mentally prepared myself for the worst. But this place looks much better than Mr. Mortify's description. Though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. This should be it. It's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Mortify, we 
found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena, and the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine? Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed. And now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing but it's falling out of daily use. Now, what kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huang Long's major cities. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner, too. I found it! It's located on the way shelf. Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. 
The Jinjo City Hall and Washu Academy were built in the same year. The gorgeous of spirits battle sparked Jinjo's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the crownless. One with the sounds. Rover, about the sugar pearl. <sighs> Life has never been easy after the lament, but I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinjo and severing all communication with other cities, desperation ran high. Words are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed, We owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the sugar pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... According to the reports, the vaccine's creator died three years after its development. With the rest of the team now aged over 50. Hmm. You mean, you could be that infant shown in the pictures? They should be around your age by now. Hmm. But he doesn't have your golden eyes. Rover, about the sugar pearl. Zhenzhou was the most recent city established in Huanglong. The mountains of spirits running from north to south divide Huanglong in two. The capital and the five cities are located in inner Huanglong, while Zhenzhou is in outer Huanglong. The battle of gorges of spirits was the catalyst to found Zhenzhou. Tacit discords were born in the Norfolk Barrens, and their invasion route was originally traceable. However, the emergence of the Crownless changed it. The Crownless is a tacit discord that embodies war itself. The hatred of the fallen warriors and the fear of the survivors are the ingredients for it. With the limited information available, some researchers have speculated its connection with the Thrinodian. When it comes to the Thrinodian, there is a lot to tell. For now, think of it this way. The Thrinodian is the most powerful tacit discord. The battle of the Thrinodian that happened long ago was to fend it off. According to the reports, the Crownless is very similar to the formidable tacit discord we encountered. Our sentinel, Jue, manifested before us in that battle. Rover, about the sugar pearl. We have the symbol Wei now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. What do you think, Rover? I've only seen our magistrate once at the appointment ceremony. So, I can't comment on her personality. But her policies have proven effective and greatly benefited us since she took office. Some believe that the remarkably far-sighted and profound decisions were actually devised by Counselor Chang Li due to the young age of the magistrate. Lady Chang Li is our magistrate's advisor and former teacher she once held a high position in the Central Secretariat, but she requested a transfer to Zhenzhou. I've also heard rumors painting her as a cunning manipulator rather than a loyal servant. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. 
Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... She needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Hmm. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I ain't finna front, came up from the bottom when they thought that I was stuck. Them bugger how these niggas wanna.